This retailer has a lot to do to prepare for a temporary tax cut. We're trying hard. We're not throwing our hands up in the air. We're going to make a valiant attempt, but there's going to be some errors. Do this. Hundreds, if not thousands of items have to be checked. Starting Saturday, only some will be tax free for two months, but it's not always clear what counts and what doesn't. I mean, a child could use it or an adult could use it. So who is this primarily for? And I honestly cannot tell you. <laughs> like we sell it for to everyone. A lot of businesses are affected, among the long list of tax-free items, restaurant meals, diapers, and beer and wine. But it could be hours of work to remove the GST. There are huge compliance costs uh, that are being pushed down to businesses, uh, reprogramming that has to happen basically at night this on, on Friday, December the 13th. It's a it's a giant mess. All this may not boost holiday sales. It's just not going to affect my shopping habit, really. If I pick something and it happens to be included, that's going to be great. It'll be a nice surprise, but I'm not going to necessarily let that be in sort of a driving criteria for what I'm shopping for. I wish I knew about it earlier before I did all my shopping. And dropping tax on a select list of items like Christmas trees has been criticized. This is, you know, potato chips and wine and, and things like that. And I think we'd be much better off just giving a little bit more money to families and they can spend it however they want it. And if they wanted to spend it on chips and wine, they could. The federal government says this will put money in Canadians' pockets. Back in Calgary, this retailer says some new games. She supports that, but holiday changes aren't great. It's a busy time of year. It's the wrong time of year for us to be doing it. I, I super appreciate in some ways the gesture, um, but it's causing a lot of work for us at this time of year. So her staff will be making a list and checking it twice for tax purposes. And he said, CBC News, Calgary.